word for this house. I'm going to start with the word for the region, if that's okay. I saw all kinds of things before I even got here. And I even saw things. Once I got here, and then even today, more stuff came. And what I began to see, what God began to show me was, there have been so many word curses that people in this region have spoken over their own selves, not realizing it, even to one towards another. And I can't say that that's any different than any other region, because the enemy, if he can get us to cooperate against ourselves, he's going to do that. That's what he does, right? But he said one of the main uh, chains, and I saw it gone, so we're going to decree and declare that, okay? But one of the main chains that I saw over this region, over this area here, was a chain where people had cursed their own selves by agreeing with the devil. And they weren't necessarily just speaking over their own self or their own house. You know their own church it was like they were speaking one house speaking against another house speaking against another house and there was all these interconnected lines and dots and it became a spider web it became a knotted spaghetti mess but God said this is a time and a season where people are repenting one to another they're being humbled they're being brought low he's coming in with his presence with his presence with his presence. And that's what transforms it. But if you're a prophet, if you are one of the fivefold and God gives you, he pours out these dreams and these visions of what you see. And you go, well, that's not what the region is right now. Hold your tongue. Shut up and say, nope, you're right, Lord. It is. That chain is gone. The people here cooperate with one another. There's unity in this house. There's unity in this region. Come on. People have stopped yeah. cursing each other. Have one house lifted up against another, but that's instead right. they've linked arms. They're walking hand in hand yeah. and arm in arm. And that's what I'm releasing in this region. That's what God has shown me. And, uh, you know, God also showed me, and, and it's going to lead into a personal word here in a moment, but for corporately, there was a corporate level I could pull out of a vision that I had today. And corporately, one of the things God showed me was leaders are being visited by God. Those who hold leadership positions God took me to a place. And the person there said, you don't have an appointment, prophetess. I said, I don't need one. And I stepped into the center of their desk. I walked right through it. They thought their desk could keep me out of the room. But see, I, they didn't understand. I came with Jesus. I came by the Spirit of the living God. And Father was with me. And they looked and they, I said what Father told me to say. I said, you've done X, Y, Z. And it's caused a great harm. But see, this represented, this part of it represented many houses across America. Many. And I began to see them bow down. This individual, he represented leaders and leadership. That could be me, you, any of us. God comes in. And he's going to deal with whatever. If he tells us it's wrong, if he comes in with the plumb line, we repent and we say, yes, you're right. Of course you're right. Of course I did it. I goofed up, whatever. And this person got down on the ground. And this is what the part that I'm releasing in this region. Repentance and humility. Yeah. Because when Father God said, you lied or you did it wrong or this was wrong or this was inappropriate, they repented. There's such a great massive wave of humility and repentance. The reverential fear of God is being restored in this region. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. And they, the paperwork that was accusing them, Father walked up because it said what it was, whatever it was. Picked it up, put it on the desk, and Father put freedom across it. Freedom for the ones that were accused and freedom for their own selves. And stamped it. They had to sign it. Father signed it. Jesus came into the room and said, You can leave now. Because the rest is none of our business, not my business, not your business. What God does, if anything, is He going to give them 100% mercy? Or will there be consequences? It's not my business. And that's part of the issue. 
We think we can step in and go, well, I think this needs to happen to them and that needs to happen to them. That's not called forgiveness. I left the room because it's no longer my business. It's no longer my business. Sometimes we think, and that's just a word. Come on. Prophets, apostles, sometimes a fivefold, we think, what is my business? If God says it's your business, it's your business. If he says, leave the room, you can go now. Yes, sir, I'm out of here. See you later. Awesome. Cool beans. But I saw it look like the old man in the sea. Okay. You see anything that looks like that? That's a water spirit. It was demonic. It came up onto the gulf. It came onto the coast here. And it looked like it was taking the reach and it got mad because a certain sound has been released by the worshipers in this region. That is waking up the sleepers. We're waking up the sleepers. There's this verse that I love in the Song of Solomon. The Shulamites talking about the wine going down smoothly. That new wine, it goes down so smoothly. Why? It's moving gently across the lips of the sleepers. I am my beloved's and his desires towards me. See, God, the desire for God will wake you up if you're a sleeper. It will totally keep you all right. And you're told what? About the sleepers. That's mentioned to us. In Ephesians, it's also mentioned. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you the correct verse here, but I didn't mark every one of them. I couldn't find my pen. It's also mentioned in the Old Testament in Isaiah. But I will tell you this. This is the time of the sleepers in the region waking up. They're waking yes. up. The people are no longer deaf and dumb and blind by the enemy. And as that thing came up off the ocean, this is what I saw. Father God himself is pouring out judgment against that thing. It came in to try to take out the intercessors, to try to take out the prophets, to try to take out apostolic order. But Father God put his foot down on it. He caused people to be giants in the land where the giant in the land was like an ant and it was squashed. And what poured down on that thing? God gave me an ointment and he said, and I, in these visions, I always represent the intercessors, the prophets and the apostles in the region combined corporately. And I dropped something called wake up, O sleepers on the thing that came to kill the sleepers so they would stay sleeping. Come on. He, he wanted to totally destroy so they would be dead forever so they would look like it because, you know, sleepers look dead. Because they didn't really look like they were sleeping. They didn't look alive. And as soon as I did that, they began to what? It began to kill that thing. It began to run away and clear away and literally pull itself out of this region and go back off into the sea. But that's if the prophets don't sit down, the apostles don't sit down, the evangelists can't sit down, the pastors and teachers can't sit down, intercessors, you can't sit down, people of God, you can't sit down. It's turning the table. Is flipping. The table is being turned. The table of the money changers is being flipped over. Money and wealth is coming into the region because the devil has pulled it out. He has pulled it out. In the name of Jesus. So when you see visions like that, but you look in the natural and go, you say what God says. Because the other thing is a lie. There's nothing lying about what God shows you. When it's good and pleasant things. We're going to cut that. <laughs>